Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP HANA Cloud Development Training on Cloud Application Programming Model in Business Technology Platform. In our today's session, we are going to learn how to create our first table function using SQL script in HANA Cloud on SAP Business Application Studio. In our last session, we talked about how to consume our calculation view which we had built using CAP service in the CAP model in SAP BTP. So let's get started in today's session. We will create a table function. So as you know that functions are of two type in HANA SQL script, scalar function and table function. A table function returns always the data in form of a table parameter. So my requirement today is to create a table function which will return all the vendor details from our SAP system. So Vendors are stored in our business partner centralized table with vendor type or the business partner type as 02. So we are going to return the country and city of vendor. Along with that, we will also return the vendor ID and vendor company name. So we will switch over back to the system in SAP Business Application Studio. And then we will use the vendor creation. So let's go back and here we will create a script. So we switch over back to uh, HANA uh, and also business application studio and find command to create a SAP HANA database artifact. So let's call this as get vendors will be our table function name. So make sure that you choose the correct folder where you are creating this artifact. So we are organizing all our development into different folders folder structure. So we can give a shape to our project in a nicer way. So this is a best practice. So I'll choose scripts tab scripts folder and there I will create now a um, calculation uh, basically a table function. So we'll choose HDB function artifact and we will give the name called get vendors. And we click on create. So as I mentioned a table function is a function in HANA which is a SQL script logic which will always return a table type. So you can see here in the returns we can mention now our table and we can mention all the columns which we want to return like vendor ID and we can put nvarcar 36. We can also parallelly go to our HANA data explorer and check the database table to find out the data type for the vendor. So if I go to the table, you can eventually see it's nvarcat 32 character. So this is what I will put here in the same way. The next is vendor ID or vendor name. Then I will put here vendor code. I'll put vendor city. And I will put country. And we will also put email. So these are all the properties I put here in my system. So let's create a select query which will do a join between my business partner and address table. And right now the column names are question mark for us from our database table business partner and as PPA and we join it with our address table in the system. On join condition my business partner dot address GUID note key. You can see the code completion which is provided by best tool and we will have the address table. Uh, it has a note key. So yes, this is our join criteria for both the tables. So now we will return all the columns in the same name and same order. So we will do the aliasing of the column. So first column is vendor ID which is going to be my note key. 
the order and the column name and data type should match company name from BPA as vendor name and then vendor code as so this is basically the business partner ID as vendor code and then we will have the city from address country so these are all our return columns in the same order with the matching data types you can see at design time the system also does the syntax check for us for the SQL script and it will tell if there is any error it will always be able to tell us here you can see the missing return statement so we just have to add the return statement here to return the data now one important thing that I would like to return only the vendor data so we will have a where condition and we will have this column called business partner rule equals to two so you can see also the data we have business partner type as one and two one is for customer and two is for vendors so we put here two and now I will deploy our table function to SAP HANA and I begin the deployment and it's finished which means if I go to the functions in our system we should see now a get vendor function there you go let's right click and generate the select statement to test this function and execute to see the vendors superb so you can see all the vendor data is coming out of our system nicely using table function in our next class i will show you how to consume this table function in calculation view also thank you for joining today's episode with me for complete training on hana development with hana cloud on btp with business application studio please contact us on contact at anubavtrainings.com i will see you in the next video thank you so much for joining see you and goodbye